Les Irungu and my, my senior colleague, uh, Senator Elachi, has seen them. But we must look at Sarah Serem's recommendation against the CAPS project, which is a, a project that has been running for the last three, four years. We need to know. When we have a bloated um, wage bill, it probably means we've got a bloated workforce. So what is Jubilee's program and plan and agenda to ensure that the, the civil service is not bloated? Mm. There's a lot of uh, rancor around the pay of members of parliament. Right. 640 billion goes to public sector salaries. Mm -hmm. Parliament as an institution run by the Parliamentary Service Commission, its budget is about 13 billion Kenya shillings in a year. Now, work out 13 billion out of 624 So billion. you are disagreeing that members of parliament <clears throat> are overpaid, so to speak? No, Michelle, no, don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm just looking at the entire picture. That parliament consumes 13 billion for salaries and activities uh -huh. in a year, vis-a-vis -vis 624 billion. So parliament is not necessarily the problem. Uh -huh. Yes, we must deal with issues of parity. We must ensure that a parliamentarian, uh, the, uh, whatever he takes home, is, uh, is at par with other professionals or other people who render significant service to the nation. Mm -hmm. But parliament is not, even if you reduce the salaries of parliamentarians to zero, Michelle, you are talking of 13 billion out of 624 billion. The key conversation here should be, are we going into a massive retrenchment? Are we going into layoffs? Are we going to rationalize a civil service so that it is not bloated? And I think that is a tough decision that needs to be taken. Right. I, think, I think President Uhuru, going into an election, he is afraid of saying we are going to fire people. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. it's much more politically sexy to say that we are going to reduce salaries. Reduce 